Hello and welcome to The Vital Truth. This is going to be kind of like a part two to the message that um, I was teaching on the baptism with the Holy Ghost. I've had a lot of people write, there seems to be still some confusion. Folks are getting the baptism of the Holy Spirit mixed up with the gifts of the Spirit. And this is what this video is about. Simply, I want you to understand that we call salvation a gift and we call the baptism of the Holy Ghost a gift simply because it's something that you did not pay for. Jesus has paid for all of this. He paid the full price. And because He freely gives it unto you, it is considered a gift. But it is different and not to be confused with the gifts of the Spirit. Now I'm going to briefly mention those so you will see the difference. The gifts of the Spirit are the Word of Wisdom, the Word of Knowledge, Faith, and this is not the measure of faith that's given to every man, but the gift of faith. The gift of healing, the gift of working of miracles, the gift of prophecy, the gift of discerning of spirits, the uh, gift of divers or various kinds of tongues, and the gift of interpretation of tongues. Now those are considered the nine gifts of the Spirit. It would be safe to say, and accurate I believe, that without the baptism of the Holy Spirit moving and operating and working in your life, you would not have the gifts of the Spirit operating in your life, which are the nine that I just mentioned. I want you to realize that as important as salvation is, it's a must. Jesus said you must be born again. The baptism of the Holy Spirit goes hand in hand to the point where you need that as your prayer language. That's what that's for. And as you pray in the Spirit, it edifies you. It is something given to you to help you. It doesn't help anyone else but you. But the gifts of the Spirit are given to you so that you can labor and help others. Do you see what I'm saying? Also, your prayer language, which we call baptism in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, it does not require interpretation. That's not the same gift of tongues we're talking about when we're speaking of the gifts of the Spirit because that tongue, those diver's tongues, those must have an interpreter. They must be interpreted. The baptism of the Holy Ghost, which is your prayer language, it does not require an interpreter, and it is given to you as the Spirit gives utterance. So I hope that that clarifies that and that you can see the difference. You need to be born again. You need to be baptized in water. You need to be baptized in the Holy Ghost and receive the evidence that you have been, which is speaking in an unknown tongue as the Spirit gives utterance. This unknown tongue is different than the gifts of the Spirit, which is diverse kinds of tongues, which must be interpreted. So I pray that you will seek that out. Go to Jesus with it. Let Him clarify these things for you. He won't fail you. He won't mislead you nor confuse you. I love you, God bless you, endure unto the end, and until the next time, bye-bye.